Hey everyone, happy Saturday, True Red here. Dark Mondays is my program. I couldn't wait until Monday. I wanted to say what I needed to say today on Saturday. I hope everyone's out enjoying this beautiful weather. It's beautiful here in the Northeast. People need people, people need air. It's not natural, it's not healthy for us to be isolated and for us to not be breathing in air. Um, so I hope everyone's out enjoying themselves. First thing is I wanted to mention about, um, there was a party that was planned in Newark, New Jersey. I don't know if it happened or not, but I heard it on the news it was a couple weekends ago. And they were gonna have music, entertainment, a DJ and food as to encourage black folks to come and get vaccinated. So let me just say how insulting I find that from a black mayor running a city like Newark, New Jersey to use such a stereotypical approach to lure black people to get a vaccine where there are so many who have questions. And I'm not saying who should get it or who should not. That's a personal choice. I know what my family is not doing, but there are others who feel the same. And to use something like food and entertainment, which is so stereotypical, to me is insulting. The other thing is the Asian crime bill that was just signed by Biden and you all's favorite uh, Kamala Harris, sister girl, who rallied black women by describing herself as the first Asian African or African American, whatever she called herself to get black women wound up. And I just want you to see where that has gotten us. And please understand when we're throwing one bone, that's as far as it's gonna go. And you all need to understand that. Stacey Abrams was out working, you know, pounding the pavement and look where we are in the same place. We need to use a different approach. Voting and the effectiveness of voting happens for us at the local level, okay? This is 2021, it's not 1970 any longer. We're the only race that rallies behind a political party. We're the only ones that do that. And that is ludicrous. Nothing comes out of it for us, please understand that. The system has us brainwashed and we just do the same thing and they know that. So here the Asians, because they had a couple rocks thrown at them a couple of months, a couple months ago or whenever, now they have a bill that is gonna support crimes against them. Do you all understand that? Do you understand how insulting that is to black people? And it's gonna continue that way because the message is loud and clear. Black lives don't matter, right? BLM got together, they did whatever they did. They got their people in office they're done. Tamika Mallory, I don't care if you stick your finger up at people when people have questions for you, okay? You're done. I don't care how many books you write. White folks don't care if you write books. They care if you dialogue. And Tamika, you had a platform and you could rally us together. And I almost paid the $1,500 I didn't have to be a part of your committee, but I wanted to wait and see, and I'm glad I did. So let's please wake up and realize it's 2021. We need to do something different. Let's advocate for our children and let's stop accepting everything that's given to us. Have a wonderful weekend.